is Claude Julien still the right man to coach the Canadians? Yes. Okay, thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, I think mean, Claude has evolved in the, in the last year or two. Uh, uh, I think there was a time when uh, it would have been very difficult for him to show as much confidence as he has in the young players. He doesn't have much of a choice. Um, but, uh, you know, I think that he's done a good job with what he has. And I think that's one of the things he keeps saying. Yeah. I, can only, I, can only do, I can only do what I can with the players I have. And uh, unfortunately, I think the, the general manager has let him down on a few occasions. Um, but I think he's the guy. Also, he's got, I think, three more years left on a contract. And uh, they just finished paying the last ex-coach. I don't think they want to, there's any, uh, any appetite for getting rid of him at this point. I don't think it's necessarily a coaching issue right now. As you mentioned, that he does, doesn't have enough players, the players that he needs. Um, and to replace Claude Julien right now, yes, there's two people who are coaches in waiting. You have Joel Bouchard down in Laval, and you have Dominic Ducharme as an assistant coach. However, none of them have the NHL coaching experience that I feel like it's just too early to promote them, that I think they would need a few more years of learning, uh, you know, developing coaching, that, Claude, uh, that uh, Joel Bouchard was coaching junior hockey before taking the jump to the AHL. And I think let them develop as coaches as well before making a decision to just all of a sudden uh, fire Claude Julien. I think he's the, the right man for the job. I mean, um, if anybody is in the situation where they have to look themselves in the mirror, it's Mark Bergevin. He's, in, he's the guy who put this team out for his coach. He's now in, what, year eight of a five-year program. Um, <laughs> that seems to be the thing. The other, the other option is, of course, is if they are going to fire him or let him go, and yes, they have, you know, their two coaches in the waiting, I don't want to rile people up, but if you really want to win, you have to go out and get the best coach available. Not the best francophone coach, not the best, and I know it's a political thing, and, and not the best bilingual <coughs> coach. If you really want to win, Go out, get the best coach, and if you need a translator for that coach behind the bench, who cares? I think the fans want a winning team and at any cost at this point. So if the best coach out there is a, a Swedish coach and you need to bring a Swedish translator in, do it. I think the fans wouldn't care who's behind the bench as long as the team is winning and entertaining. All the right. French media would care. That's the biggest yeah. problem. And the but you know what? Majority of the population. Uh, no, I, I agree with you, Joey. I mean, I mean, let, let let them enjoy a season where they don't get. Uh, I'm just opening up a can of worms now, but um, <laughs> let, you know, let them have a season where they don't get the first questions in in their in French. Let them be. You know, I don't know. I just think that even the French media, deep down, they have to say this is about a franchise that has a history of winning. That history is going just into the books now. I mean, there's a generations of Julian was here last time and he, he's never seen them win in his <laughs> lifetime I had to do the math of figuring out how old he was he's young mm -hmm. um, so that's a shameful thing so I think if the, the Habs and the organization and the fans want to see them go back to those glory days you have to go away with the politics and I can see the comments coming my way already I mean mm -hmm. I don't I don't think a coaching change will really see, you know make a difference and this team is gonna start winning they're just a young team um, I've been anti Mark Bergeron for most of the time he's been at the general manager. Have you in got Montreal. into his uh, Bergie's Buddies fan club on no, Facebook yet? He's, he, no, I have not. Thank you for bringing that up <laughs> and, and hurting me a little bit in the heart. <laughs> uh, but I'm actually a little bit pro Bergeron now, despite the disarray that the team is in, because I feel like finally it's taken him, you know, how many years? Six years? I feel like it's, this is the second year of an actual rebuild that I am optimistic about the future and do see the team doing well, but they're just, they're a bunch of 19 and 20 year olds. They're too young. Um, I do see them getting better in the future. I am optimistic. I don't, I think uh, Claude Julien is a great cho choice for a coach. I don't think changing him is really going to change anything at this point in the season. All right, go to hockeyinsideout.com now and check out this week's full episode. <laughs>